hey, let's have some fun writing the equations for certain parabolas, just giving kind of fun facts about the parabola. Here's an example right now. So suppose that we're told that someone's thinking of a parabola, and all that they tell us is that the directrix is x equals negative 3, so that's a line, and the vertex is at the origin. Hmm. Can we name that parabola? It's almost like a game show. Name that parabola. Isn't that great fun? Well, the first thing we have to figure out is what is this parabola looking like? Where is this parabola living? Because if we're going to write it, there are two basic ways we can write a parabola. We can write it as y squared equals 4px or x squared equals 4py because we know that the parabola goes through the origin, right? And, so, and since the vertex is actually at the origin, these are the only possibilities. And if we write it this way, of course, the p is in sympathy with some of the other things we've talked about. But let's just think about what this might look like. So let's just try to sketch a, a little picture of this thing. Think about it. So here we go. Here are my axes. And the directrix is x equals negative 3. So that's going to be a vertical line. All the values were x equals negative 3. So negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. So this is x equals negative 3. And so where's the, where's the focus going to be? Well, the focus is going to have to be a point. And we know, by the way, that the origin is the vertex, which means that that's going to be the, but we don't know if it's going to go up or down or left or right or anything. But now we can figure that out because where does the focus have to be? It has to be equidistant that from this point to that point right there, which means it has to be on the other side, three units, one, two, three. So that's the p-value, and that has to equal three. And that tells me that the parabola has to now kind of go around that focus. And so it tells me that I'm going to have a parabola that's going to somehow do this kind of thing, roughly speaking. That tells me it's a happy face parabola on its side, which means I shouldn't be looking at an x squared equals. I should be looking at a y squared equal. And the p is going to be positive. And in fact, we know exactly what the p is. p is 3. We already figured it out. So what's the equation? The equation is actually straightforward, and we just did it. It's y squared equals 4 times 3, which is 12x. Check it out. There's the answer. So that is the equation for the parabola that has directrix x equals negative 3 and vertex at the origin. Isn't that amazing that just those two pieces of information, we can give the entire equation for the entire parabola? Absolutely awesome. Let's try another one together because they're so much fun. fun. OK, here's a parabola. And we're told that it passes through the point 3, comma, negative 12. Vertex at the origin and vertical axis of symmetry. I have no idea what all that means. So let's just sketch a little picture to see if we can make head nor tail out of it. The first thing I always do is I draw my coordinate and put in the axes. Passes through the point 3, comma, negative 12. Now, where in the world is that? 3, comma, negative 12. 1, 2, 3, comma, negative 12. That's way down here. So that's 3, comma, negative 12. Uh, the vertex is at the origin, so that means that it goes right through this point, and that's the turning point. And therefore, that tells me a lot. Because since it has a vertical axis of symmetry, that means that the axis of symmetry must be the y-axis, which means that since I have this point here, I must have a corresponding point at negative 3. And that tells me the parabola should look something like this. And so what that tells me is I'm looking for a sad face parabola, and it should have x squareds in it since it's going down. So that means I'm looking at this kind of version and not this version. OK, cool. And now I want to figure out what all this stuff means. So, so how do I do that? Well, um, I know that the parabola is satisfied at 3, comma, negative 12. So that means that if I put in 3 for x, the y value has to be negative 12. So let's do that. So if I go into this formula, I see 3 squared has to equal 4 p. I have no idea what p is right now. That's going to be the point where the, um, where the focus is located. But I don't know what that is yet. And then I, but I know that y has got to equal negative 12, 
when x equals 3, because 3 comma negative 12 is on the graph. OK, so what do I see here? I see that this equals um, negative 48 p. And so what do I see? I see this is 9. So I see 9 equals negative 48 p. If I solve for p by dividing both sides by negative 48, I see that p equals negative, I see equals 9 over negative 48, which equals negative 3 sixteenths. So the p value is going to be on the y-axis at a depth of negative 3 sixteenths. Even in my lousy picture, does that make sense? It kind of does. Do you see it? Because the parabola is going to orbit around that focus. And so it's got to be somewhere down here, negative, and it turns out it's negative uh, 3 sixteenths. And so that's awesome. And if I put that in to the equation, I see that x squared equals, well, 4 times negative 3 sixteenths, which is negative 3 fourths after I cancel the 4 and the 16, y. And that is the exact equation, the exact equation for uh, the parabola described just by this. Now, that's kind of a junky picture that actually got us pretty far. But just for fun, if you want to actually uh, see the pretty, pretty version of it, there it is. And you can see it's exactly as we predicted. And it has that beautiful shape that is defining the parabola. But more importantly, we were able to use the idea of the directrix, which is the line, and the focus, which is the point through which the parabola kind of orbits around. Putting those two things together, just given a little teeny bit of information, we can write down a formula, a function, that actually describes the parabola everywhere, even to the outer galaxies. That's the power of mathematical thinking. Enjoy thinking about the parabola, and I'll see you soon.